All right, let's talk about how I'm building this up here. So I just did one of my taller ones here. I'm gonna build a short side right here. So I try to make sure that this is on the middle of the joint. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut that loose. I'm just gonna slide it over so you can see. Okay, so I try to make sure that is right about there on the middle. And I'm just gonna take my little piece here and it doesn't have to be pretty. And you can even rip your tape if you need to, to get down into there, just like that. And I'm gonna take this other one here, my other short piece, the four and seven eighth inch piece here. And I'm just gonna maybe kind of rip it right here. And I wanna make sure that that's on top of here. I don't want it sliding off the edge. Then I'm gonna get my little top here going. I'm just gonna take a little piece like that. Just kinda, doesn't have to be pretty. Just kinda wrap it around there like that. So you'll notice that I have my first layer of my dome ready here. Again, you might wanna go over these inside joints with some tape just to make sure that like this one right here is kind of sliding forward. So I'm gonna go back in there and fix that. So I have an alternating pattern of short four and seven eight inch piece triangles. So this piece on the bottom, all these pieces on the bottom are five and a half inches. These two sides right here are four and seven eighths. These two sides right here are five and a half inches. These two pieces are four and seven eighths. These are five and a half. So I have a little triangle, big triangle, little, big, little, big, little, big, and the pattern alternates. So now we need to build this up some more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the smaller pieces, the four and seven eighth inch pieces, and I'm gonna go from here to here to here to here and build a ring up. I'm gonna build a ring up with the smaller pieces around this level, okay? So here's what I'm doing. I'm taking the smaller pieces and creating a ring around the first layer here. So I'll show you how that works. So I'm just getting a little piece of tape right about here and just loosely taping it right here. And I'm gonna get this and you might have to pull, pull towards, so that's fine. I'm gonna have to pull a little bit towards there. I'm gonna get another four and seven eighth inch piece, put it right here. Okay, just like so. And I'm gonna have to push a little bit on here. And I'm just making a ring around this first layer. Okay, so what I did is I made sure that I went back through and kind of taped the other side of these joints on here and here. And you'll see I have my pattern of small, large, small triangle, large, small triangle, large. Oops, that one came loose. I need to put another little piece of tape on the other side of it. So let me do that real fast. And you periodically will have to do that. And I'm just gonna stick that right back there. Okay, so small, large, small, large, small, large. So it's A, B pattern, a, a small, the two smaller pieces. So this piece is four and seven eighth inches right here. These two pieces here are five and a half inches. The base of all these triangles is five and a half inches. Remember, we made a decagon with 10 of those five and a half inch pieces. So I have a small, large, small, large alternating pattern of triangles. So after that, what we did is we took the smaller four and seven eight inch pieces and made a ring around it like so. So now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. We're gonna take those smaller pieces and we're gonna have them go straight up like this, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around to each of the small triangles and kind of give them an antenna like this.
So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to each small triangle and just give it a little antenna like this. And I'm just going to loosely tape it right here. Okay. Oops. And that fell over. Make sure that stands up straight. So I gave him a little short triangle here and antenna like that with the four and seven eighth inch pieces. And the idea here is I'm going to skip this tall one. And then for the next one, I'm going to take another four and seven eighth inch piece and stick it up like that. And I'm just going to repeat that for every small triangle. So here's what I've done. I've given each of my short triangles a little antenna with the four and seven eight inch piece. So if you look, I have a couple of antennas here that are, each one of these is four and seven eight inches tall. I'm gonna finish off this last little triangle here with another one. So what I kinda like to do, I like to have my piece kinda look like this. And what I do is I just put it right here and just kinda, oops, it fell over like that. I'm just gonna take the little extra right here, just wrap that. And I'm going to get another piece of tape. And I am going to put that piece of tape right here and get that to stand up straight. So check it out. Now I have all of my small triangles have a 4 and 7 8 inch antenna like that. Okay, so you have all of your little antennas on your short triangles. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a couple of your five and a half inch pieces and I want you to make five V's. See how I made five little V's here? What you're gonna do with these is these little V's are gonna go in between the little antenna that you just made. So see how that goes here? And then I'm gonna put this one right here and those are gonna get linked together. And you're gonna go around the whole entire thing with these V's and just put them in between the little antennas that you just made. What you'll find when you go on this second level here, when you have your five and a half inch V's like this and you go put them in here, you're gonna find that the dome starts to pull in on itself and that's fine. So for the top of the second level, you're going to put these five and a half inch pieces here, 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 and here. So now I'm closing in on my top layer here, the second layer rather, and I have made a ring around the top with some five and a half inch pieces. Okay, so here is my five and a half inch pieces. I got one more to go. I'm going to put that right here. Okay. So for the top, we're going to put five small pieces here like so. And that's going to be the, they're going to be going inwards like this. So I got my five points here and you're just going to tape those together. When you finish, it looks, should look something like this. Okay, and what you can do is flip it over and go over any joints in here that might not be strong enough. So when you're finished, your dome's gonna look like this. This is a two frequency geodesic dome.